Hi, this is Dan Barrett from the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, York South Particular Council. Celebrating the Feast of Blessed Rosalie Rendu in Prayer, Contemplation and Action. Sister Rosalie was a founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. She was nearly 17 years old when she joined the Daughters of Charity and her achievements included opening a free clinic, a pharmacy, a school, an orphanage, a child care center, a home for the elderly, and a youth club for young workers. Jean Marie Rendu was born on September 9, 1786, in Comfort, in France. She was the eldest of four girls. Her parents were simple, deeply pious mountain folk owning a small property. She was three years old when the French Revolution broke out and her parents stood firm in their faith, even giving shelter to priests on the run from the revolutionary government. Her father died in 1796, and during the same year, her younger sister also died. Jean-Marie took on the responsibility of caring for her mother and younger sister. As the revolution calmed down and life resumed its normality, Jean-Marie was sent to the Ursuline sisters in Gex to be educated. During her walks in the town, she discovered the Daughters of Charity working in a hospital caring for the sick. This inspired Jean Marie to join the Daughters of Charity after her mother gave her consent. On the 25th of May, 1802, Jean Marie arrived at the mother house of the Daughters of Charity. The reopening of the seminary suspended by the revolution took place in December 1800. In 1807, Jean Marie made vows for the first time and was given her name, Rosalie. A thirst for action, devotion, and service that burned within Rosalie could not have found a better place than the Mouffetard district in Paris. This was her first mission, a district famous as the Hovel of the Poor, and Rosalie threw herself heart and soul into the service of the poor. In the days following the revolution of 1830, the agility of the people was great. Anxiety, a thirst for a more just world, a desire for change in society, and the commitment of Catholics to work together was strong. During this time, Frederick Osman, another founder of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul, was introduced to Rosalie as a guide. Together with his group, Rosalie taught them how to visit the poor. She would give them advice on the Christian way to go to them, to respect them, and to consider them as brothers and sisters, rich in humanness. With her, they learned to see Christ in the poor. As of the 4th of January, our neighbors in need of health care are still in a COVID war zone. They are on the front line of precarious jobs affected by restrictions. Social distancing and access to proper personal protective equipment is too often a luxury for those most affected by the virus. The vulnerability of those with underlying medical conditions are further complicated by the social determinants of health. Make sure those in need are aware of resources available through such organizations as the St. Vincent de Paul Society and the York Support Services Network, as outlined in the description section of this video. Pope St. John Paul II's homily at the Beatification of Blessed Rosalie in 2003 stated, In an era troubled by social conflict, Rosalie Rendu joyfully became a servant to the poorest, restoring dignity. He also stated her charity was inventive and her secret was simple, to see the face of Christ in every man and woman. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and may we draw inspiration from Sister Rosalie's example and more fully live the gospel message to serve Christ in the poor with love, respect, justice, and joy.